Gerber here. We are diving even deeper into coding again for our class, but we're gonna start with a book, this book right here called Gingerbread Baby. This is by one of my most favorite authors and illustrators. Her name is Jan Brett and she makes beautiful pictures, so I think you're going to enjoy this story. Then in Seesaw, we're going to practice some more coding off of a grid, which you may have tried last time with our hopscotch coding. You're going to be using arrows to code the gingerbread man, but you have to grab two candies and stay away from the fox. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started with our story, and then I'll show you Seesaw. Gingerbread Baby by Jan Brett. It was cold outside. It was warm inside. A fine day for gingerbread, Maddie thought. Maddie's mother put the big blue bowl on the table and lit the stove. Maddie took down a worn looking cookbook with old fashioned writing on the cover. He opened it up to the page that said, Gingerbread Boy. They measured and mixed. Maddie rolled the dough into the shape of a gingerbread boy and they popped him in the oven. Bake a full eight minutes. No more, no less. Do not peek, the recipe read. Maddie listened to the clock. Tick, tock. One minute, two minutes, three, four, five. Maddie couldn't wait any longer. He opened the oven door to take a peek. Instead of a gingerbread boy, out jumped a gingerbread baby. He pranced around the big blue bowl. I am the gingerbread baby, fresh from the pan. If you want me, catch me if you can. Maddie's mother reached for the gingerbread baby to put him back into the oven. But he ran all around the kitchen. The door opened and in came Maddie's father. What's that delicious smell? He asked as the gingerbread baby tumbled through his legs and outside into the yard. He ran by the tabby cat. She twitched her tail and sprang at him. They rumbled and tumbled, but the gingerbread baby came out on top. He ran toward the garden wall. The dog caught a whiff of tasty ginger and sniffed along behind him. But the gingerbread baby was halfway up when the dog got up. He barked and barked as the gingerbread baby climbed over the wall. Maddie was still inside. He heard his mother and father yelling. He heard a cat meowing and a dog barking. And he heard the gingerbread baby shouting, Catch me if you can! Maddie opened up the worn looking cookbook for the second time. Meanwhile, the gingerbread baby wheeled on down the path and into the barn. The goats looked up as he somersaulted across their backs. The last one tried to catch him, but the gingerbread baby was too fast. Martha and Madeline were standing by the well when the gingerbread baby stopped to take a drink. They looked at each other and winked. Martha started to talk to him while Madeline tiptoed up behind him with the bucket. But they couldn't fool that gingerbread baby. He took a braid from Martha and a braid from Madeline and tied them in a knot and ran down the road. Back in the house, Maddie stirred, mixed, and rolled the dough. He shaped it put it in a pan and into the oven. Tick, tock, tick. Eight long minutes. This time he didn't peek. 
I will catch him if I can, Maddie said to himself. As he was bouncing along, the gingerbread baby saw a farm wagon just ahead. He jumped in and settled down for the ride next to Mama Pig. The smell of gingerbread was too much for her. She tossed him high in the air, closed her eyes, and opened her mouth. But the gingerbread baby twisted in the air and came down hard on her porky snout. I am the gingerbread baby. Too quick for the mother and the father. Too fast for the cat, the dog, the goats. Too clever for Martha and Madeline. Too smart for the mama pig. Who's left? Catch me if you can. Feeling smug, the gingerbread baby strolled along by himself until he came to a bridge that crossed over to the village. Just as he got to the middle, he heard running feet behind him and saw a crowd of villagers ahead of him. The gingerbread baby was trapped. He jumped up onto the railing, backflipped through the air, and landed on a chunk of ice floating down the river. The ice bobbed along with the gingerbread baby dancing on top and singing in a loud voice. Look at me! And what do you see? The best gingerbread baby ever! Until his feet got cold and he jumped ashore. Who was that watching from the trees? It was the fox! He crept up behind the gingerbread baby, ready to eat him up. But the fox couldn't help himself, and he licked his chops. Smack, smack. The gingerbread baby heard him and ran as fast as he could. Just when the fox was catching up, the gingerbread baby saw the milk and cheese man with his can of milk. The perfect hiding place, he thought. He lifted the lid and lowered himself inside. He was so pleased that he sang at the top of his gingerbread voice. Ha, ha, he, he, you'll never find me. I'm the gingerbread baby. Catch me if you can. The milk and cheese man heard the gingerbread baby's voice. Who is meddling with my milk? He shouted and lifted the lid, but the gingerbread baby was ready. He jumped up and tweaked his nose. Now the milk and cheese man, the fox, the villagers, the mama pig, Martha and Madeline, the bleating goats, the barking dog, the meowing cat, the father and the mother were all after the gingerbread baby and getting closer. And he knew it. The brash baby was not as peppy and proud as he had been. He sniffed a familiar smell and followed his nose into the woods. He couldn't believe what he saw. There in the middle of a clearing was a gingerbread house, frosted with sugar, covered with candy, and doors with peppermint handles wide open. The gingerbread baby clapped his hands with glee and ran inside. In a tick-tock tick, everyone arrived in the clearing, but all they found were a few bits of frosting, a peppermint candy, and some crumbs. The father exclaimed, the gingerbread baby has finally met his match. I wonder who it was, the mother said. Let's go home and tell Maddie. Hello, Maddie, his father said when they got home. We never did catch that gingerbread baby. All we found were some crumbs in the snow. I see you have been busy his mother said, looking at the gingerbread house Maddie was holding. 
Too bad we never caught that gingerbread baby. Hmm, too bad, said Maddie. Only Maddie could hear the tiny voice from inside the gingerbread house. I'm the gingerbread baby, lucky as can be, to be living in the house that Maddie made for me. Okay, here we are in Seesaw. So the directions here say one, watch Mrs. Gerber's video, two, tap add response, Three, tap the pen tool to mark your arrows on the grid. That's if you need to. Four, tap the move tool, and you can also click this little image to make it full screen. Drag the arrows into the correct order to help the gingerbread boy get safely home. Pick up two candy snacks, but stay away from the fox. And then tap the green check when you're finished. So let's go ahead and take a look inside to see what it looks like here. Okay, so what you need to decide is what direction you're going to go on the grid. You could go forward this way, you could turn down this way. Whoop, there's a fox right there. Now to mark, you can actually mark up this grid if you want to. Um, you can use a pen tool here if you wanted to. So let's say I wanted to go forward here, and then I wanted to go forward here and grab that candy forward here actually here i'm gonna want to go down i don't want to go forward because there's the fox down oh i don't want to go down that'll take me to the fox so i need to turn again grab that candy and head down down again and there i am at the gingerbread house i arrived safely uh, so if you need to mark this to figure out the code, you can definitely do that. So now we need to actually put our line of code down here. And we can see it's kind of tricky because these tools are in the way. But this button right here, this is actually the hide button or the full screen button. So we're going to click over to our move tool. And then I'm going to go to full screen here. There we go. And now those tools aren't in the way. Okay, so now if I take a look, the very first part of my code, I need to match it up with one of these, and it's this one right here. So I need that one first, that forward, and then I need another forward here. Oh, and once I got to the candy, that's when I went down, another down. Oh, remember we had to turn here. We did that turn so we didn't run into the fox. Then at the candy here, we went down again. And down one more time. And that took us right into the gingerbread house. So that was the code that we used through it. Okay, now you certainly don't have to go the exact same direction that I did. You can see there's lots of other candy treats over here that you can get. So try with your code, no matter what path you take, to get two candy snacks, but don't run into the fox. Make sure your code goes around the fox, okay? All right, I can't wait to see your code. I hope you have fun playing this today. Click the green check to send it to me, and then you'll be all done.